the man speak with my mother. I am mother. I had such a great time. I mean, it's funny, you know, especially as an actress, as a woman, you it's rare that we get invited to the party to really pull out all the stops, you know? And I mean, being able to embody that creature of mother and, and really, it was fascinating because I assumed wrongly um, that going to work on a Marvel project would, I would be very confined that they would be like, you do this and we need you to look like this and this is what it's gonna be. And my experience was not that at all. It was, it was completely opposite. Um, I was given full freedom. And, uh, you know, I, my son <laughs> gave me the backstory of the, the Hellstrom comic <laughs> and that whole universe. And, you know, and, and as did they, as did everybody at work, they really brought me up to speed and sort of where they were going with our version, mm -hmm. which is pretty true to the comic. Um, but uh, when it came time to sort of make, because my character, Victoria, is, is sort of two different characters. I'm the mother, Victoria, and then I'm mother, <laughs> which is, as you know, a whole nother phenomenon. <laughs> and so when it came to creating mother, it was really a blank slate. They just gave me free reign, which was, you know, I mean, that's just being set loose in a candy shop, really. <sighs> Marie, I am driving. Marie! 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 Laura Rosenthal, who's the casting person on it, is a, a friend. And she, uh, you know, she, of course, called my, my, my people. Mm -hmm. And, but she also mentioned it to me. She was like, you should listen to this podcast. Uh, this from ProPublica mm -hmm. and uh, and I was immediately like, yes, what I will do anything in it, whatever you just tell me what you need me to do and when I need to be there and I'm there. So that's sort of how that <laughs> happened. And then Catherine Deef, who is like, oh. God, she's a great actress. My so God, good. so good. So that was awesome too because. You know, when you get to work with wonderful people, which is how it should always be, um, but sometimes isn't, but when it is, it's awesome. And, and I had the good fortune that most of my stuff was with her mm -hmm. and she was just fabulous. You need to tell her it's okay to speak to me or Danny or Matt, who's on his way. Matt's coming? He texted me. I texted him. He texted you and you texted him. Do you him. think I'm not going to tell you the truth? I can drive more in. Jean. You were wearing that same sweater that last time I saw you. Was I? It was a group that either could have been like a nightmare or <laughs> wonderful. Mm -hmm. And it was wonderful. It was wonderful. Everyone, like, I, it was fascinating because I didn't know Adam Sandler. You know, mm -hmm. I, I knew him from SNL and, but I didn't, he is, he's amazing. I mean, he's such a gorgeous actor. Ben still such a, like, they're, they're just beautiful actors and their, their talent stunned me. Uh, it oh, was yeah. it was awesome, and you know, and also Noah, he's such a magnificent director, and I like you know he he ch he's chasing something when he's filming. He hears the music in his head. It's incredible. It seems so spontaneous. It seems so improvisational. It's not. It mm -hmm. is so uh, specific and technical and repeated. I mean, you do a lot of takes with Noah because he he wants something and he won't stop until he gets it. And it's not aggressive and it's not uh, arbitrary. It's incredibly specific and and gentle, you know, but clear and persistent. <laughs> um, and I I love that. I love being asked to do something and you know going after it until it is right.
No single leader can save a democracy. But without a leader you can trust, no democracy can be saved. For that reason, effective midnight tonight, I hereby resign the presidency of the United States. The vice president will be sworn in as president at that time in this office. Politicians mm-hmm. are really just a collection of our projections, right? So, and which was something that I constantly tried to keep in mind, especially with Elizabeth Keene, mm-hmm. was just, I am a screen that people are projecting onto as a politician, especially as a woman. Mm-hmm. And the, the intense scrutiny that female politicians are under and the need to just breathe deeply and move slowly and really, you know, don't do anything to draw too much attention, mm-hmm. which is as, as much strength as she had, uh, I also constantly kept in my mind, like, keep your hands in your lap, don't get too loud. Mm-hmm. Like all of those things that I'm sure women have like a ticker tape constantly going through their minds when they're in that position as female politicians. I think it's beginning to shift a little bit. I think the squad has kind of mm. changed the dynamic a little bit, which is awesome. Yeah. Um, but when I was walking around in that TV territory, that's what I was thinking about. Mm-hmm. You heard me. Punch me as hard as you can, and then I am coming at you like an animal. Oh, God, is this a fight club? The pain proves we're alive. Oh, this is very disappointing. Come on, hit me. Get a taste. I've never been a big TV watcher, and Mm -hmm. at that time, I was on Broadway doing Top Girls. I was playing the lead in in Top Girls, which is a very difficult play. Mm. And my son was like two or three at the time. So I was stretched thin. And I was tired. And so I wasn't watching TV. I, had, I knew of 30 Rock, but not mm-hmm. really. Tina Fey, who is another amazing, brilliant, brilliant woman, um, is a huge Carol Churchill fan, hmm. randomly. Well, not randomly. She's right. incredibly smart. <laughs> of course she's a Carol Churchill fan. But uh, she had come to see Top Girls and loved it and hired me for her show. So I got a call saying, you know, we'll shoot you out during the day to, so you can make curtain. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so tired. How do I, okay, yes, it's Tina Fey. Yes, I will, I will do that. So, so I'm, I'm glad the episode turned out as well as it did. I think some of the suppressed anger that you may see is just, I'm just tired. That's real. <laughs> That's real. That's real. But it was it was super. It was awesome because the cool thing about uh, working with mothers, mm-hmm. you know, I love as a mother. I love working with other mothers because there's no time wasted. We do not have time. Not to say that that's exclusive to mothers. Mm -hmm. It's just something that I've experienced when I work with other mothers. We come in prepared to do what we're there to do because we only have this much time to do it. So we've gotten all of the preparation done before we arrive. When we arrive, we're there to do the thing that needs to be done. And then we need to move on to the next thing that we need to do that day. So there isn't a lot of extraneous, like, let's hang out and see how we (laughs) feel about the scene. And maybe we need to do some re, you know, we get the job done. And, and Tina's set was very much like that, Mm -hmm. but in a, in an incredibly friendly, fun way. They say, well, she hardly knew the man. Isn't she a cranky old maid? It's awesome because how they work is they have storyboarded their whole movie before they shoot mm-hmm. it. And when you go to work, everybody, the caterer, the makeup people, the, all of the actors, everybody gets the sides for the day and the storyboard. So everybody mm-hmm. knows exactly what shots you're making. And that's what you shoot. And then you're done by dinner and everybody goes home. So it's like, it too is, you know, they, they, they vet people really thoroughly before they hire you. Like I know people that I know were called to ask about me hmm. because they don't want assholes Yeah, <laughs> and they don't need to hire assholes. So they don't. 
So they find out. And, mm-hmm. uh, and so when you go to work there, it's awesome and it's efficient and it's fun. And the best thing, the thing that you live for is after you've done a take, if you see behind the monitor, their shoulders going like this. <laughs> if they're laughing, then it's, it's awesome. It's- She was very funny until she was tragically killed. But mm-hmm. um, <laughs> but that was a really fun kind of foray into a whole nother mm-hmm. realm of um, comedy, sort mm-hmm. of. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, it's fun. for better or for worse. I I just my husband and I both are sort of we're character actors. We're journeymen, you know, we we have a skill set and uh, we're kind of guns for hire. Like we like doing all kinds of things. We don't really have a commodity like this is what we do. And so we just wait to be right. hired to do that thing. We do, you know, like I did the Bourne movie. I was an assassin. I yeah. got to train with like special ops people and go to a gun range for two months, you know, it was like crazy. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I love that about my profession is that I can, uh, wander into any building, you know, 